Hello there, I'm going to show you very quickly how Blot works. I've just signed up and Blot's added this folder to my Dropbox. Blot will check inside for any files that it can turn into blog posts. So here on my desktop I've got a text file containing a blog post. It's got a title and some nonsense below. To publish this, all I have to do is take the text file and then drag it inside Blot's folder. Once Dropbox has synced it, Blot will publish it automatically to my blog, which is here. So I'll reload the page, and there is that post. If I want to update the post, all I have to do is make a change to the file. There we go. I'll save the file. Dropbox will sync, and then Blot will update my blog. I can also publish images. Here's one on my desktop. I'll drag and drop it into Blot's folder. Once Dropbox has synced the image, Blot will publish it to my blog. And there it is. Blot also supports HTML files. Here's one on my desktop with a few uh, with a little bit of embedded JavaScript. I'll put it again inside Blot's folder. Dropbox will sync it and then Blot will publish it. And so all of these color swatches are generated through JavaScript. Blot doesn't mind. You can embed pretty much anything inside a blog post on Blot. So those posts are all very simple. Here's an example of a text post which has got slightly more complicated formatting. So again, it's got a title. It's got some equations set in LaTeX. It's got some code snippets. Um, a video from Vimeo, all sorts of stuff. So again, it's a bit more complicated, but Blot, Blot knows how to, to process this. So I'll publish it by putting it inside Blot's folder, wait for Dropbox to sync it, and then once that happens, it'll get published to my blog, and here is that post. So you'll notice that those, those equations are now beautifully typeset, the code snippets have highlighting done automatically. There's that video from Vimeo that's embedded. Uh, we've got lists, images, uh, more code, a table, and some more interesting formatting. So you get the idea. Uh, Blot is very flexible. You can publish just about anything, um, and it works very easily. Blot doesn't mind how you organize the files inside its folder. So once, you're, once you've got lots of posts, you can create subfolders, you could rename the files. Um, Blot doesn't mind, it'll keep track of everything. So one thing I've done is I've renamed uh, Blot's folder to my blog, and then I've added it to my sidebar. So now I've got a, a neat little shortcut that I can just drag and drop stuff onto. So I want to share an image that I found on the internet. I can do that very easily and publish you know, in a second, and Blot handles the rest. One of Blot's neat features is that it allows you to preview your blog posts very easily uh, before publishing them. And so let's, let's make a new text file. I'll open up my text editor. Blot's great because everyone's got their own favorite text editor. Blot works just fine with that. You can use whatever you like. If you like using the command line, you can publish blog posts you know, without leaving the terminal. So anyway, I'll show you how to preview blog posts on Blot. So I'll give this post a title and then some content below. And so to preview this post before actually publishing it, all I have to do is save it, I'll put it inside Blot's folder, and at the very start of the file name, I'll put draft. So once Blot spots that you've got a file with draft at the start of the name, um, it'll create a preview file, and here is that file. And if I open up this preview file in my web browser, I'll see exactly how that post will appear on my blog before actually publishing it. And what's quite neat is if I, if I make some changes to the file and hit save, it'll update automatically in the background. So let's say I want to add a list. I 
I can verify that the HTML will render correctly without uh, having to publish it. Um, so yeah, once I'm happy with this post, I'll just close the file, close the preview, and then remove draft from the file's name. Once uh, blot is synced, it will remo remove the preview file and then publish it to my blog. So there is that file we just created. If I'm not happy with it, and to be honest with you, it's a bit of a weak post, I can just delete it from my blog by deleting the file. Once Dropbox is synced, the blog post has gone. And so there you have it. That's how publishing basically works. Um, you'll notice that Blot's created an archives page for my blog automatically with all of my posts, so I can access them quickly. Blot also creates an RSS feed and sitemap for each blog automatically. And you also get a search engine. Uh, so if I want to find something, there we go. I can access stuff quite quickly and easily. Um, so you'll notice that... Uh, Blot creates a, a publish date for each post and also a permanent URL. And Blot lets you specify that very easily. So if I open up the file that corresponds to this post, at the very top, I can specify the date like so. Save the file once Dropbox is synced. Uh, the date will update. I can also specify the URL, like so. Let's say I want to give it a URL of Apple. I can hit save. Notice the URL currently. Once I reload the page, it'll update to Apple. So I can control, you know, pretty much every aspect of my post um, just just from my folder. Blot basically has no interface. It's just just files and folders, so I can I can publish from anywhere. Blot also comes with a dashboard, so I can view and update my blog settings. So here's here's the dashboard's homepage. It's got an overview of all the posts on my blog. Um, on the settings page, I can update my info. I can upload a new photo. I can add in my own custom domain to use for my blog instead, if I wish. Uh, I can also add stuff to my blog's menu, so let's say I want to link to my Twitter account. I can do that here. Hit save. And let's go back to my blog. If you look in my blog's menu, and so reload the page, now there's a link to my Twitter account. Uh, what else can I do? Oh yes, uh, so this is, this is the default theme for Blot, but I can completely customize it if I wish. And Blot also comes with a few other themes. So here's one designed for longer form writing. So let's use this theme. And I'll reload my blog. And now we've got a, a simpler homepage with just the titles of my posts. And then I can click through and read the full thing. And yeah, I can swap between themes with just, just a click. And I can also, at the very bottom of the page, I can create my own template, use all the HTML that I want, I can completely um, define the CSS, etc. So it's very flexible. On the apps page, uh, so Blot comes with a few things that I'd call apps, for lack of a better word. They're basically little widgets that modify your blog or your blog posts and do a few neat things. So a lot of these widgets help with typography um, to ensure things uh, are typeset correctly. I can also, here's, here I've enabled analytics, so um, at the bottom of my blog I've inserted the tracking code for Google Analytics so I can see who's visiting my blog pretty easily. I can also, if I wish, embed discus comments, um, and yeah, pretty much every feature is I can enable or disable as I like. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Uh, those are the basic features of Blot. Uh, if you think you might like it, please do give it a go. Thank you for watching.